I'm very honored to present to you on behalf of my co-chairs, um, Dr. Caroline Len from Singapore and Dr. Hill from UT Southwest to organize a very exciting meeting uh, in half uh, crossing the divide of translation. I would like to briefly talk about the concept and the philosophy behind the design of this program. As we know, the Keystone Symposium is always the premier meetings in our field. Uh, we understand that the big challenge of heart failure uh, as a medical issue. Uh, it's a disease clearly affects millions of people. In the same time, uh, there's a tremendous progress in the basic science discovery space where much advances have been made in terms of understanding the disease mechanism as well as potential players at the molecular level, cellular level, to the pathogenesis of disease. However, what we have not seen is actually how that discovery being translated into real diagnostic tools and therapy which have a direct and a real impact on our patient outcome. So the mission of this symposium is to define what are the challenges that, that limit the success of our translation in the field. And that's why in this symposium, we designed very strategically to link our clinical leaders who can help us to define and articulate the major clinical challenges of various forms of heart failure, from heart failure with preserved ejection fractioning to heart failure with preserved ejection fractioning. And we like to hear first in each session about the clinical challenges. And then we have combined their presentation to the basic scientists who potentially can offer some of the answers. That's why we believe that this uh, particular uh, 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 Keystone Symposium has a broad appeal, not only to the basic scientists, which are the usual sort of a targeted audience for a very heavy science-focused uh, symposium, but also to uh, physician scientists and clinical uh, researchers uh, who are interested in the outcome of novel therapies and novel mechanisms. Uh, there, there are actually many, many great conferences in the uh, heart failure uh, space, uh, including clinical focused or basic science focused. What we believe that there is a major gap to integrate them, uh, to link the clinical experts uh, with the basic science and translational scientists. And this is why the design of this program also includes several, I believe, very unique uh, workshops uh, that are designed as a very uh, concise, uh, almost like a TED Talk style, where robust debates and uh, discussion can be generated so that I believe the outcome of that will certainly will help us. I can speak quite a bit of the impact of uh, Keystone Symposium on me on my personal uh, uh, professional growth. Uh, the first time I participated in Keystone was when I was a graduate student. And the only thing, honestly, I remember were the high altitude, the symptoms I felt, and the uh, tremendous challenge of skiing on a slope that I had never experienced before, but also the incredible opportunity to have a really in-person interaction with the leaders in the field. And I was in the genetic and molecular biology uh, symposium, where actually the first time I met with really the giants in the field that I only kind of imagined based on their publications. Keystone actually really offered that opportunity because it's intimate, it's intense, and it really helped me to not only capture the frontier of the science, but also had the first time real uh, uh, feedback uh, from the leader of the of the science because when you present your posters, actually this is a a meeting where everybody participates so intensely uh, in every aspect. So 
people will come to you and ask you questions about your posters, about your signs. So it's an incredible sort of a scientific maturation, but also your own exposure. So if I speak to the junior people, the, the young investigators, and this is probably the best experience you should have to get yourself know, to actually also know the, uh, the, uh, the, the leaders in the field, but also to be known by the leadership. Mm-hmm.